What up crew? Welcome to the Trap and Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of training. I'm out running, it's lunchtime. It's hot, might be too hot. Um, I'm not gonna get any better at running or performing in heat by sitting down in the shade, am I? So out of lunchtime for a run in the sun. Just really easy and steady though. My legs feel, I don't know how to describe this, but in that happy place where you can feel you're a bit fatigued, but it's not too bad. Like, you know your legs feel a little bit tired, but you can still do what you're gonna do. I find that's a happy place to sort of like balance your training load and your recovery. So yeah, that's what I feel like at the minute. We'll just out for half an hour or so. Just steady about eight and a quarter, eight and a half minute mile in. Just trying to keep a lid on it. <clears throat> I've got to get a loaf of bread on the way around when I get back to the village. So that's my task for today. Whew. See you at the end. Run done, 32 minutes, 3.93 miles. No, I'm not rounding it up. Um, eight minutes, 14 per mile. That was good, felt nice. Still absolutely red hot, but my like perceived exertion was quite low. I forgot to wear a heart rate monitor again, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> dog's got the right idea. I mean, just a, yeah, it's the best place to be. Anyway, time to uh, devour some of that loaf of bread. So as well as actually training and being fit, preparation for this 12 hour also includes do some drills, practicing feed stations and things. Uh, obviously all this is pretty new to, to me and to Liz and my dad who are gonna be the support crew. So I'm dragging Liz out of the house tonight to try and do some <laughs> pretend hand me ups, well pretend practice hand me ups as in giving me, a, giving me a bottle on the move. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully I won't wipe her out or fall off. Also while we're here, check out how sick this chain looks. Look at that, all purple and blue. Excellent. If you want one, link in the description. Ten pounds off with the code try done. Go on, Liz, get a wiggle on. I've hurt my back now. You've hurt your back, have you? Doing what? Carrying the wash basket yesterday. Oh dear, you worked to the bone. Right, Liz, what are we doing tonight? Bottle practice. Bottle practice. Here we go. Are you excited? Thrilled to be here. <laughs> not running. No, you have to be running before you have to grab it, not after. What? You have to be you have to be running before I get to you. Because <laughs> otherwise, I've already got it and you started running. Oh. Why can't you, you grab it like that? Yeah, I can do it. I'm going like 10 mile an hour. If I do 20, you'll run it at 7 and it'll be 14 mile an hour. <laughs> run! That's it, that's better. <laughs> There we go then, session time. So it's not really a hard session. I've got to bear in mind I had a hard ride Saturday and a decent train day yesterday. So it's four times 12 minutes in zone two. But in zone two, I'm really focusing on TT position. It is my TT position number about 73. So I've changed my armrest for somewhere a little bit, but a bit wider apart. Due to the whole settings, I've had to change them out from the aero coach ones. I've also tilted my saddle a little bit further up because I was struggling with sliding forward all the time. But it's not really a huge amount better that actually, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, 10 seconds go to the second effort, so let's keep going. So I've done three out of four efforts. Do you know what? This position feels all right. The only thing I will change is my uh, armrest pads. They're about as thin as a sheet of toilet paper. Every bump I go over, I feel like my face is going to through, go through the bars. Other than that, it feels okay so far. My heart rate is okay versus the power. Why can't this happen in a race? Ah, uh, hell well. Anyway, that's on to go, and it should take me very close to home, so a classic about 35 second warm down. Session done and dusted, that was good. I know what you're thinking. What are these shades, Daniel? Well, whilst I wait for the um, Oakley sponsorships to roll in, it's on its way apparently, um, I picked up these from Planet X, so it's the Karnak brand, which is Planet X. They are what look like clear sunglasses, but actually, oh, come on, what is the word? They go dark in the sun and they go light in the night. Somebody remind me. I don't know what it's called. Not prism, that's Oakley, isn't it? Photochromic photochromic lenses and these cost 50 pounds the oakley equivalent uh, you know a couple of hundred and i don't know about you guys but i treat sunglasses a bit like trash without me i mean to they get tucked in bags tucked in your car don't they and so on so a bit hesitant to spend 200 pounds on them whereas 50 quid is just about what the doctor ordered so yeah good session to that uh, tonight good training day awesome uh, thanks for all the comments about uh, what to do about this half iron on this weekend i'm going to take it all on board and just see how i feel i think close to the time but um thanks so much for engaging i love it when obviously you guys to and fro with me it's awesome hopefully i get a chance to meet as many of you as i can over the next few weeks at races and definitely next year at some cool some cool places how about how about that right bedtime thank you very much if you haven't already subscribe button down below i'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m <laughs>